Good afternoon. Straight in front of us is the East Side Bus Exchange, which we have used on our video for NBCC. So we're using it again today as a reference point. So we are on the east side, we are in the commercial district, and we are going to look at two neighborhoods today on this beautiful early spring afternoon in St. John, New Brunswick, best city in Canada. <laughs> So hi. They, uh, hi. Yeah. He never lets me speak anymore. What is up with that? I'm just so enthusiastic myself. Yes. All right. I apologize. Everybody <laughs> say hello to Wendy. Okay. okay. You're forgiven. I think they're finished. <laughs> All right. So we are on Westmoreland Mernon Road, I think. And we're going to look, take a look at two neighborhoods on the east side. Uh, first one that we drive into, I believe is called Forest Hills. And from there, we're going to take a look at Glen Falls. So we're just gonna put them both together today. And uh, not sure if this is our last east side video, but there won't be a ton of them. So again, we don't live on the east side, we live on the west, but we do know that the east side is very popular because uh, there's all the business uh, stuff is here. Uh, the MBCC is here. Shopping. Shopping, restaurants, all of that stuff. Oh, I'm already in the wrong way. You are. Yeah. Oh, now you're going to run a red light. That's awesome. It was yellow. The stop sign police who uh, <laughs> called you out on one of your videos is yes. going to be all over you. Yes, well, luckily I've only killed six people this month. <laughs> we haven't. Honest. Seriously. So this is Forest Hills. We just passed the cinemas on our left, uh, big strip mall on the right. So this is one of the uh, popular neighborhoods on the east side. We'll pick a road to go down at some point. Uh, the reason it's popular, I assume, is because it is very close to the east side activities. So let's go down here. Glengarry. Just picking random streets. This, uh, this area is kind of on a hill built on a hill, as many parts of the city are. Uh, so this is more elevated than the second neighborhood that we'll be doing. And kind of your traditional uh, 80s built bungalows and two-story family homes. Look at that blue sky. I'm just gonna interrupt because like, oh my gosh, not a cloud in the sky. That's St. John. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we love it here. The sun's always shining. Okay, sorry. No, it's a great point. I think we're on month five of our eight month winter, according to some people. <laughs> so yeah, it's a beautiful spring day and I had to take my light jacket off because I'm already too hot. And we're coming up to a school zone. So we'll see if we see a school for some of our viewers that are interested in that. But yeah, it's nice. They're all big lots, as you can see here. Uh, nice functional bungalow type homes mostly. Oh, here's a school. There's a school. Now, luckily, someone said slow down school zones, but it's uh, school's not in session at the moment. It's like five o'clock in the afternoon, but we will slow down anyway so you can get a look at it. Yeah, so this school is Forest Hills Middle School. So what grades is that, Schmooks? I think that'd be seven, eight, and nine, but I'm not sure. Seven, eight, nine, but we're not sure. But anyway, so it's pretty big here. And uh, like we had mentioned in our comments and um, on our Facebook page, uh, there's schools in every single neighborhood, it seems like in St. John. St. John's quite compact. So if you're worried about like settling in a neighborhood and you want schools for your children, there's schools everywhere here and they're relatively close because it's a small city. So just to give you an idea, that's a pretty big school though. Middle schools in general tend to be bigger. There's more middle or more elementary schools than middle schools. So we're turning down another random street called Skyline Drive. Skyline Drive. Oh, some nice views here. Oh yeah, it's pretty. You know, before we started doing some of these East Side videos, I didn't like the East Side very much, but I'm liking it more and more, yeah. just like we did with Milledgeville. 
we're West Side snobs. We love the old uh, maritime character homes, but these homes are very nice. Very, They're very pretty. Very pretty and good sized lots. Lots of room for your kids to play. Seems like very, uh, very nice family oriented neighborhoods for sure. Yeah. And there's pretty good uh, transit access out on the east side, probably best around. So that's a nice little home right there. Yeah. So these are looking down over parts of the city. We get a nice view of the, uh, the shopping district. Shopping district. I don't know if you can see that because of the sun, but I'll zoom in anyways. I'll try it out the window. I don't know why. This is now Harmony Drive, and you see one of the many sold stickers. I'm Everything sold. sells fast right now. Yes. Uh, we mentioned another video, but our realtor, who we like to recommend to people because she's the best, she told us her last listing had 23 offers within 24 hours. So Crazy. Tells you a little bit about how the market is here. Just like the rest of Canada, it's just stupid. Yes, just like the rest of Canada, except that we also read that New Brunswick uh, house prices rose more as a percentage than any other province in the country in the 12 months ending in March of 2021. Yeah. The secret is out. It is. Canada's best kept secret is St. John and the secret's out for sure. Now St. John is still cheaper and much nicer than Moncton, the, <laughs> the other... Uh, the ugly stepchild of New Brunswick. <laughs> uh, somebody had commented because we didn't speak favorably, uh, favorably of uh, Sussex. Uh, just to let you know, Sussex is very quaint. It's very cute. If you're um, white and um, straight, it's a great place to live. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> let's... Uh, Make our way into one of the other little east side areas. Wendy's making all kinds of friends with our latest <laughs> videos. I, uh, you know, it's kind of amusing. I, um, I've never received, um, you know, troll emails before and messages and stuff. And I'm not sure how to kind of, I don't know handle it all it's uh so just to let you know this is our private youtube channel and so when you watch our videos you do tend to get our opinion on things because why not it's our channel <laughs> this is very true we don't get anything for this we just uh, do this because people asked us to we were gonna stop months ago but if you like just driving through neighborhoods and checking out St. John, uh, we are, we love St. John. So that is our premise for this, uh, for our videos is that we just love St. John. We don't love Sussex. We don't love Moncton, Fredericton. We love St. John. So we're always going to talk, um, you know, more positively about St. John than all the other places. Sorry. So now we are sort of transitioning into the neighborhood known as Glen Falls. Glen Falls is more resembling uh, a little bit more like what we have on the west side. Older homes, kind of smaller. Uh, smaller. They have some character, some of them. But the drawback to Glen Falls, because we're now losing altitude, is uh, it is a well known flood zone. Now, not all the houses here are. Um, in flood zones some of them are a bit elevated and um, you know are spared when this area floods but uh, you are taking a risk buying in this area and even if your flood or if your home is not in the flood zone it's hard to get in and out of here when this place is flooded now we had a huge uh, rainstorm here in November and um, this whole area was cordoned off and you couldn't get in and out um, and the roads were just completely underwater just to let you know but that being said there's cute little parks here and cute little character homes everywhere there's it's a very very quaint area 
um, but make sure you do your research if you are buying in this area because a lot of, of the homes do flood. Sorry. Yeah, the reward side to that risk is that you tend to pay quite a bit less money for a home in this neighborhood. Yes. And there are many of them that have never flooded. I think it's kind of just the luck of the draw as to where you're located. But uh, even if your home doesn't flood, sometimes the neighborhood itself may be uh, impassable due to water on the roads. However, uh, if we, as an example, show a couple of, uh, or at least one home that we actually looked at when we get there. And uh, my brother looked at a home up here and they were both well under $100,000. And they were quite nice. I think they were both underwater though, last storm. Could be. Yeah. We couldn't get here, we drove here, but we couldn't actually get by to look and see. Yeah, this, so this is Glen Road, very cute homes. This whole road was all flooded. Some more of your War Bride style homes. Yeah. I'm not sure where we are now. So the one that your brother liked was on the one road over. Yeah, so we'll see if we can find our way there. So yeah, you'll see these are like mostly built in the 40s and 50s. Very cute. Very young, cute, yeah. yeah. That's for sure. And usually very reasonably priced. But there is, uh, besides the fact there's a low-lying area, there's high water creeks and stuff here which overflow their banks. But you are very close, uh, and I don't see, think you can see that creek, but it's over there. We're very close to the east side shopping, and we are very close to freeway access to get uh, either into central St. John or uh, east towards Quispam, Quispam Sis and Rossi. <laughs> That's another criticism. It is. I don't pronounce Quispam Sis properly. <laughs> But if you notice, uh, Les has some pretty unique pronunciations. Anyways, you should, see him, you should hear him uh, pronounce sausages. Say it, baby. Sausages. Sausages. <laughs> <laughs> In his defense. <laughs> so I think we're uh, we're deciding with this video that we're gonna say whatever we damn well please. <laughs> Kind of where where things are taking us, I think. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a bit of a U-turn, oh, but you do see very cute older homes. There's one for no, oh, it's sold. Everything's sold. Everything's sold. And the ones that you see that still look like they're for sale, they're sold too. They're just waiting for for the conditions to be removed. Oh no, maybe it's not sold. Okay, well there you go. There's a cute little house there. If anyone's interested, 128 Todd Street. Oh. I remember that one. I think it's 129,000. 129,000. See, that's so inexpensive. Yeah, it's uh, it is. It's a bit of a risk reward kind of scenario in this neighborhood. It is very cute, but uh, I think I went the wrong way. You did. Very cute, but you pays your money and takes your chances. So this is the water kind of uh, thing to our right and we missed it but so adorable little homes here very similar to some of the ones you would see in Fundy Heights on the west side and on Wesley Street in the... oh yes Portland Place I think that's called yeah I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong somebody mentioned that that area is called the rifle range or something I'm not sure what that's referring to but I'll take their word for it but I think, yeah, the area north of Uptown is called Portland Place, around Lancaster, or not Lancaster, Lansdowne. Lancaster's on the west side. And for all of you thinking of moving to the west side, there's a new gym opening up in the mall there, and an expansion of the library. Yes. So, Things are happening all over the city. Yes, where there's uh, store openings and uh, expansions, there's jobs, so, which is growth. So, wow, this is a bumpy road, hey? And probably from all the floods. <laughs> probably. All right, we're still trying to find, well, you get an idea. 
Little so homes. If you go straight here and then it's on your right hand side, the red house, is yeah. that what you're looking okay. for? Okay. Where would I be without my beloved Wendy? Now just to uh, let people know, we mentioned in another video, but That's we are well. we are going to be uh, telling our story in an upcoming video. Good. So please subscribe to the channel if you're interested. If you're not, then probably don't bother. <laughs> So this is the house that we were interested in at one time, this little cute yellow, or red house. Oh, and it's like, two, I'm not sure if it was two or three bathrooms, two bedrooms or three bedrooms. One bathroom, just a basic house, nice flat lot, very cute inside. And this was for sale for $74,000 and I don't think it sold. Yeah. And it's uh, very cute. It's cute as a button. It looks like it's in good shape too. It has a nice big lot. Anyways, it's no longer for sale, so. So, I think we'll probably sign off now. Yeah, let's do it. Since we're hitting another dead end. Yeah, <laughs> we're hitting another dead end. This this video has been a bit of a dead end. I think, <laughs> Anyways, we just wanted to shoot another video of the east side, just because. Um, you know, there's lots of people moving into the city and lots of people have requested that we, uh, you know, show them more neighborhoods and stuff um, since people are either buying sight unseen or renting sight unseen. So if you have a neighborhood that you want us to videotape for you, just uh, shoot a message in the comments and Les will um, answer any of your comments. And then please uh, subscribe. And also we have a Facebook page, I love St. John, comma, NB. And, um, and so I post a whole bunch of stuff there too. So we'll uh, see you with a better video next time. And <laughs> thank you very much for watching. All right. We love St. John.